time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again with another seasonal top 10 list. It is Memorial Day weekend. I'm rushing to do this because I'm going out to Boston. So I'm all over the place, but let's get through this as quickly as possible. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, I figured this is the perfect time. This is the time when it transitions from spring into summer. And here we go. This one is a honorable mention because it is discontinued, but the replacement I think is very good as well. And you can use it, uh, you could use it for summer too. And that is Terre de Hermes Outre Fresh. The, this stuff is the, the whole orange, the, the, the peel, the juice, the, the seeds, slight cumin touches here and Isoe Super, that, uh, that cedar note. And the Ogivre is basically kind of like this, but the grapefruit version of it. So yeah, this is a great option. Now let's get into the list. <sighs> All right, let me slow it down a little bit. Here we go. Uh, Saint Julep by uh, Imaginary Authors. Uh, luckily they have the notes on the back here. Things like sweet mint, tangerine, uh, there is Southern Magnolia, whatever that means. Uh, there is some, damn, the light's going through it so I can't see. Bourbon, sugar cube, and crushed ice. I definitely get the sweet mint and the tangerine, but the main thing here is Ambroxan. This is basically an Ambroxan bomb. You can basically see the Ambroxan crystals in the bottle. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to but they're floating all over the place. If you have an Aventus bottle with a bunch of stuff floating in it, those are the Ambroxan crystals, FYI. Uh, yeah, so Sweet Mint, all the Ambroxan, and um, I don't necessarily say bourbon. I don't know, this doesn't really have a liquor, liquor smell, but I definitely get that kind of that sugar cube vibe here. I guess the Ambroxan is doing that, and there's just like this slight like the smallest pinch of sugar in here. It's it's perfect, uh, kind of like a mojito almost in a way, but not really. I have another one that's closer to a mojito. And so that is St. Julep, I guess 10. There's really, they're not really ranked, but that's the first one. Let's go with, I mean, this, this stuff is, I mean, quintessential summer stuff, Dior own cologne. And this stuff you can just spray nonstop and you will not overspray. I kind of get this musky. I think it's something that has to do with grapefruit, but uh, some would call this like the lemonade, like ice lemonade. I don't know if I get that. I definitely get some green touches here, like a cypress and a boatload of muskiness um, and citrus at the top there. But really refreshing. Very natural smelling, uh, really enjoy this stuff. Next, this is actually pretty easy to explain. Love the Way You Taste by Killian. This was released twice during the summer years ago. One recommendation that was actually good from Big Beer Business, which is when I first started watching videos. The name is absolutely dreadful, right? But the fragrance is absolutely amazing. Basically, it smells like a mojito without liquor inside of it. So picture sparkling water, uh, ice cubes, crushed mint, and a slice of bergamot. Just amazing, this stuff. I don't know why they stopped making it. They should bring this back, maybe with a different name. Next. Unfortunately, this one is discontinued and recently discontinued. So maybe you'll be able to still find it personally this is my favorite fig this stuff is amazing and i don't know why they would discontinue it and that is balat sauvage an ozonic fig fragrance mostly wood there's definitely some uh, fruitiness here from the fig but i mostly get woods this kind of uh, salt kissed skin uh, at the beach uh, just amazing. Really like this one. Glad to have a bottle of it. Next is from the same brand. Personally, I like this flanker more than the original. This is a modern take on Eau Sauvage, and that is Eau Sauvage Cologne. 
So there's still the original touches in here, just more citruses, not as uh, aromatic. Um, like I said, just more modern. But the famous note of Hedion is still here that Edmund uh, Rudnitska made famous. And this stuff sparkles, great citrus fragrance as well. Amazing for the price. This is one of my favorite Maison Francis Kirk Johns. I'm not crazy about the brand, but this one is very well made, and that is Petit Matin. Uh, I think this is supposed to be like a lazy Sunday morning kind of fragrance, and that's exactly what I get here. Uh, just the light touches of lemon, uh, basically an Ambroxan fragrance as well, musky, lavender and i think there's orange blossom in here i definitely get some floral touches that comes off like orange blossom just so relaxing like this is a quiet sunday morning fragrance right here and it's absolutely relaxing up a lot of these are citrus fragrances and i mean i guess this one kind of is too but this is good for the nighttime although it's an edt this i think is one of the strongest in the line and Sunday, um, summer nights out, I think you can wear this and definitely get some good attention. Paris Paris from the Lezo line Chanel. And this is basically like a rose water cologne. Citrus. Um, I forgot the rose. I think it was Rose de Mai in here. That comes off uh, as a very uh, pink rose, very fruity and quite musky this fragrance and for an EDT it does last and project so no problems with that next up all right I know people are gonna be like oh great this but this is the flanker to the king and that is Aventus Cologne and I wore this recently and I'm gonna be honest I actually like this more than the original Aventus it kind of has this Chanel Allure Ohm vibe but sport the edt but the citruses here are great the orange here just really just so lively um mouth watering and then the the kind of snappy ginger that it mixes with is really nice uh i think it does have that kind of that i think it has birch leather in here as well a birch tar to give off that leather vibe although i don't think this is very smoky just a great take on a cologne in my opinion and a great flanker bent this cologne next up this stuff i don't know if it's discontinued or not it goes back and forth in stock it's like it's really really weird what's going on with it but um yeah so crystal overt by chanel this stuff I think it's magnolia, the white florals, iris. I definitely get those sparkling Chanel aldehydes, but they don't come off like the one in like Chanel number no. five. Very modern here, um, musky citrus. I think is bergamot and lemon at the top here. Um, a little aromatic as well. Um, this is definitely unisex. So guys, do not worry about that. You could definitely wear this next up now i like to sometimes say best in class and personally for me when it comes to the eau de cologne 4711 neroli portofino uh, cologne indelible sal ghost when it comes to those fragrances the neroli the pedigrain the the citruses this is best in class by far although uh, is it the most expensive? Uh, it, it's up there. So, I mean, it's definitely not a cheaper alternative. And one of the issues here is longevity. But I don't care about longevity because the smell is that good. And that is Eau de Cologne by Chanel. And like I said, just a quintessential Eau de Cologne, Pettigrain, Neroli, citruses, but done in a way that Chanel does citruses, just effervescent, sparkling, and refreshing. And so, great stuff for the summertime. And last but not least is an Eau de Cologne in concentration. And that is Les Indomitables Escal and Indonese. And this stuff, ugh, a natural ambergris cologne. 
that comes off as oceanic, salty, a little animalic. There's definitely something there growling. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of like, uh, rocks that are washed up from the ocean, uh, citrus here. It also, uh, some aromatics that definitely gives off that eau de cologne vibe, although without something like, uh, neroli. So it's not very soapy, but, um, just really, really nice, but very, very light. It lasts, but this will not project. So if this is something that you're going to wear for yourself, but it just smells fantastic. And that is Escal and Indonese. All right. That's my list. What is that? 11 minutes. Not bad. All right. Hope you like that. Let me know what you are wearing this summer and uh, everyone hope you have a safe and fun Memorial Day weekend to all the Americans. Thank you and take care.